this is a very loud, if impressive, spectacle. The uh, simulated foe Islamic terrorists have predictably been beaten back. And just a few meters away from us, we have military observers from all over the world. I counted at least a, a dozen NATO badges uh, watching the show, watching uh, the spectacle. Vladimir Putin uh, with the uh, president of Kyrgyzstan in the stands as well, 20 or so meters away from us. But there's a purpose to this. This isn't just a show for enjoyment or uh, a spectacle. This is an exercise to, to form uh, unity, to form cooperation between uh, Asian nations, Asian states uh, that are threatened by Islamic radicalism. Uh, and this is their effort to, to sort of get to, get to know each other, get to work together. Even uh, India and Pakistan at odds with each other, open conflict, working together here behind me, as I reported earlier. The story is Radical Islamists, terrorists, have come to power in a simulated Central Asian Republic. They've formed a quasi-caliphate, if you will. And the mission is to stop them, to prevent them from seizing any more territory. They've come into possession of advanced weapons and are being belligerent towards participating nations. And participating are eight countries, representing a good half of the world's population. China, India, Pakistan, Russia, as well as four Central Asian republics. Their mission is to stop the terrorists and to prevent them from taking any more territory, to defend themselves. The military contingents representing those eight nations amount to 128,000 troops, as well as 20,000 vehicles and tanks of all types, artillery, uh, air defense missile systems, as well as 600 aircraft, including drones. The military exercises themselves are stretched over a six-day period across a variety of different battlefields and today is the grand crescendo. The objective is to halt an enemy attack, knock out their cruise missiles and at the end go on the offensive and crush them. The point of these military exercises isn't to show off. The participating nations to some degree all face the threat of radical extremism and the point of these war games is to make sure that if worst comes to worst and these people come to power that the participating nations can present a united front and to stop an enemy that has demonstrated it is remorseless merciless and capable of anything